Hi, this is Tom Malloy. Okay, today we're talking about getting your own logo and website. And I'd go a step farther and say getting your own domain. So your name is John Smith, you know, and you, you, you want to get johnsmith.com. Obviously, that's, that's most likely taken. I haven't searched, but that's a pretty common name. But whatever your name is, .com, or the name of your production company. You know, you're talking, talking to camera. Uh, doc is the name of your production company. So you want talking to camera.com, right? So you can then have email addresses that correspond, uh, you know, John at talking to camera.com, right? So that looks so much more professional than even a Gmail email address. Um, God forbid a, one of the old ones like a Hotmail or an AOL or something like that. So you should do that. And one of the best ways to get a domain is godaddy.com. But as far as the website go and the, and the logo goes, the best place that I've found is Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R.com. And what started out as a website where people would do gigs for $5 has now turned into places where you can pay you know, upwards of whatever it, it from, I've seen $20, $50, $100, $300, whatever it is to get something uh, designed. That's one of their primary functions is finding designers and things like that. And also IT people and marketing people. It's a great site just in general. But you can find somebody that'll design a really great logo for either you, like maybe your name that's really cool, or your website, um, your your production company. So you take that logo and you put that in the production company, and you, you know you can kill a couple birds with one stone if you have that something that's designed and potentially you can use it for your films. So that's the same logo you put on the films, and you know maybe animated or something like that. But every single thing can be designed on there. You can get the website designed on there too. So right away when you're you're meeting somebody, you're handing them your business card, or you're telling them about yourself, and say they research you afterwards you're coming across as a professional. So no matter what you have, how many film credits you have, it doesn't matter. It's like the perception is what matters. If somebody, if you research somebody and you look them up and you go, oh wow, look at this site, this is really great. Um, they're gonna be perceived as more professional. Now, it may not be true. The person that has the AOL address or the Hotmail address or something, or you know, whatever one of the old ones are, um, it might be the, the, the financier, that might be the producer that's done 20 movies, but most likely uh, it's, they're gonna have somebody that built that for them so that they look professional. And so why not stack the deck in your favor before going into any meeting with anybody? It, they're able to research you and go, okay, this is that person and uh, they are a professional in the film business.